Nobody knows what happened to Crump, the squirrel that showed up a year ago with a bob tail and a crumpled right ear. How Crump survived whatever happened to him is still a mystery. Even if it was an attack that he survived, the bigger question is, how did he survive growing up without a tail? You see, squirrels use their tails for so many things that help them survive. They use them to balance and to perform quick maneuvers on tree branches and power lines. They use their tails to stay warm on cold stormy nights when they hunker down in their dens. They even use them to communicate with other squirrels. Crump had no tail, so none of the other squirrels knew what to think of Crump, and Crump didn't know what to think of the other squirrels. In fact, Crump was afraid of a lot of things, but he looked and acted like a tough guy on the outside as a way of protecting himself. He really felt that he had no choice but to keep to himself and to try to learn how to live without a tail. To this day, no one knows what had happened to Crump. And then there was Evanderfield, the chipmunk that seemed to come out of nowhere this summer and who must have barely survived a horrible attack where he lost most of his right ear and also got pretty scarred up. Evanderfield was afraid of everything and everybody and would only sneak out when he thought no one else would be around. You see, not only had he lost most of his right ear on the outside, he also had lost his ability to hear out of that ear, so it was extra dangerous out there in the real world. Whenever he would come out of his underground burrow, he would have to sneak around from rock to rock just to find food and water, and then run quickly back to the safety of his underground hiding place. He never really knew what it was like to run and jump in the sunshine with a carefree heart. And then it happened. They met. Crump was slowly and quietly backing up to try to avoid the other squirrels who had come running down the tree towards the feeder, when he backed right into Evanderfield, who was hiding behind the corner of the house with his back to the feeder. Evanderfield quickly spun around, and they both stood perfectly still and stared at each other. As Evanderfield looked up trembling, and Crump looked down to see what or who he had backed into, their eyes met, and at that moment they instantly knew they had found a friend for life. Evanderfield felt safe for the very first time in his life. Now he could run and jump through the tall grass without a care in the world, as long as Crump was in his sights. And run and jump they did. Now he could wallow in the dirt and even take a bath in the middle of the day without worrying about a thing. Crump and Evanderfield seemed to be making up for lost time. Neither could even sleep at night, just looking forward to what the new day might bring. They played together, prayed together, ate together, and at all times had each other's back. Crump was tall enough to get berries off the low branches to share with Evanderfield and Evanderfield was small enough to fish out the peanuts that had fallen between the large stones on the garden wall to share with Crump. Crump would remind Evanderfield that there were advantages to being tall and advantages to being small, and to never forget that. Two better friends you will never find. They could even be found under the hibiscus tree taking a nap in the middle of the day in plain sight.
For the most part, they both felt pretty safe. But there were occasions when a hawk was in the sky or a cat was prowling that they knew it was time to take cover. But at least now, they had each other. They even started to make new friends, and both got a good laugh when the bunny thought Crump was a rabbit with no ears. Evanderfield had gotten so good at hiding before he met Crump that when they played hide and seek, he had to try a little less hard because now he wanted to be found. How Crump lost his tail and how Evanderfield lost his ear, we will never know. But the one thing we do know is that they finally found each other and nobody will be able to tear them apart. Crump and Evanderfield, friends until the end. <laughs>